Hey sunshines. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you are. I'm in the mood for a makeup look today because I have not worn eyeshadow in forever. I usually just have bare eyes, not much going on, very neutral face. But I was actually recently inspired by Meghan Markle's interview with Oprah. I know it was a really serious interview, but I couldn't stop looking at her makeup. I love that even though her makeup was clearly dark in the eyes, smudged and purpley, it didn't look like too much because the rest of her face remained very natural looking, very soft, with the soft pink cheeks and the soft pink lips. It just worked so well and I really love it. So I'm gonna show you my own version of that look. And as always, using only clean, natural beauty brands. And I don't do many bold looks like these often. So I hope you guys enjoy seeing how I go from plain Alba to bold Alba. Before we begin, I'm just gonna get my things out of the way, pick them up. And the first thing I wanna do is prime my entire face, including my eyelids, with this primer by LYS. It's called Secure Skin Gripping Serum Primer. For a look like this, I would never skip primer. Primer is essential. It makes my skin look smoother, pores appear smaller, and I feel like my makeup just sits on my skin much better and lasts longer. And before foundation, I just wanna take a moment to thank EcoTools. They have made this new Bio Blender sponge, and it's actually the world's first ever biodegradable makeup sponge. Just crazy, right? You would think that it's something that would already be here. It's so cool that it's made with only five earth-friendly ingredients and even the packaging is earth-friendly, biodegradable. This is a brand new one that I just wanted to show you on video, but I have one that's already been used and I've had it for weeks now. I've used it many times already and I've washed it several times as well. Works the exact same way as any other sponge. And I would say that if there's any change, it just feels even softer. And as you may already know, I've been using EcoTools since I was in high school, before I even knew how to apply my makeup. They're very accessible, they're very affordable, and they're just good for everyone in my opinion, whether you are in a professional makeup field or just a regular person in the world wanting good brushes to use with your makeup. Mine is already damp and ready to go. So here's a new thing I'm doing. Instead of applying foundation on my entire face, I'm gonna start off with my concealer. The concealer I'm using today is by Beauty Counter, and this is the Skin Twin Creamy Concealer in the color Dark One. And I'm just gonna spot treat certain flaws on my face, like these two pimples that I just got because it's that time of the month. So I'm gonna take my concealer and apply it in those areas. And I just start off in those little areas that are most necessary, like the pimples that I told you about, the little scarring that I may have. And I'm blending it in with my Equal Tools Bio Blender sponge, just tapping it in, not rubbing. And this will actually allow me to use less foundation, giving my face a more natural skin-like appearance. And that concealer was a perfect match for me, so it evens out my skin so well. So I only have to apply a very small amount of my foundation. The foundation I'm using today is by LYS. This is a triple fix serum foundation in the color TN6. I'm gonna start off with this tiny amount to start and we'll see how it goes. And a tip I got to apply less foundation and focus in the areas where you need it is to start off in the center of your face and then work your way out so that the least amount of foundation is on the edges of your skin so you shouldn't see heavy foundation on your hairline, which is where foundation is most noticeable. So I'm gonna start off in the middle of my face and then work my way out as I'm blending it by tapping it all in. Whatever is left over on my sponge from that foundation that I just applied, I'm putting on my forehead just to blend things in, but I'm not adding any more products, not necessary for me to add much on my forehead. And I'm gonna stop right here. I don't think any more foundation is necessary. For my eyes, I'm gonna be using two palettes today by the same brand, this is Aether Beauty. I'm using one color from the Summer Solstice palette and another color from the Amethyst Crystal Gemstone palette. To apply my eyeshadows, I'm using another cool item by Equal Tools. This is a new brush system. Basically, it's one brush handle that comes with different tops so you can interchange the tops and exchange it for whatever top you want. You can change it to this one, this one, whatever I want. How cool, right? I've been using this for about a week now and I'm still amazed. I cannot wait to take this with me on my trip to Florida because it's gonna be so convenient to not have to carry several brushes, just this. And these tiny brush tops that don't take up a lot of room at all. So I'm gonna start with the Intrinsic Eyeshadow from the Summer Solstice palette. It's basically like a warm pearl purple color and I'm just applying that all over my lid. Now 
Now by simply changing that top to a blending top, I'm gonna use this brown color called Crown Chakra in the Amethyst palette to blend all in the crease. With a clean, different top. I'm just going to blend the edges a little more, not right on the crease, but above the crease. And with this tiny precision blending top, I'm going to take that same purple and line the bottom of my eyes with that purple as well. And I'm not taking it all the way to the front. I just stop around here. Before I continue with the eyes, my eyebrows are bothering me so much right now. So I'm going to fill it in with the Zooey Organic Eyebrow Definer. This is in the color Taupe, which is a very soft color that's not going to look too drastic on my brows. It's just going to fill in some of those gaps. As you can see, that color is very soft and not heavy looking. Now I just brush it out. To continue with the eyes, we're gonna rim my waterline and my top line with the 100% Pure Creamy Long Last Eyeliner in the color Blackest. Also going to line the lash line. It doesn't have to be very neat, which is not always very easy to do because I'm gonna smudge it right after anyway. And keep it as close as possible to the lash line as possible. Again, removing the top. I love doing that, it's so cool. Putting on the smudger and we're gonna smudge that out. But don't over smudge. Make sure that you're just smudging the right amount. If you over smudge, it'll clear out the line too much. We just want to soften up that line and remove that harsh look to it. And whatever is left of the eyeliner on this brush, I'm going to smudge a little bit on the bottom as well. That looks good, I'm happy with that. I'm just gonna clean the bottom a little bit with a wet tissue just to pick up some of the fallout. I didn't have that much fallout, but just picking up a little bit. This is a clean brush. Switching out the top to this flat angled brow brush. I'm gonna take my Beauty Counter Concealer in Tan 3, which is one shade lighter than the one I use on my scarring, to clean up under the brow a little bit. And I'll also use it to clean up under my eyes and pull this all together. And I'm just lightly and slowly blending everything in, lining up the brow so that it looks cleaner. I'm just gonna take that same crease brush that I used earlier without adding any more product and just blending the edges to make sure it's all smooth and blending in nicely with that concealer. To conceal under my eyes, I'm also using the Beauty Counter Concealer in the color Tan 3. it in with my sponge and of course I'm not going to bring the concealer close to my lash line because we have eyeshadow there so I'm making sure not to blend it too close that is looking great and to set under my eyes and other areas of my face I'm going to be using the LYS translucent setting powder starting off directly under the eyes but I always avoid putting powder all over my entire face because it's not necessary. We want some of that shine to still come through because that's what adds that natural skin-like appearance. Then on the sides of my nose, also on my forehead and my chin and my smile lines, right next to my mouth, and any other area that's prone to shine. Now, so that my facial structure doesn't get lost within the foundation and looks a little defined, I'm going to apply some bronzer on my jawline. And I'm also using the LYS brand. This is their No Limits Matte Bronzer. And I'm using the color Courage. And I'm just going in my natural jawline to add some shadow effect, basically. But the bronzer color isn't very intense, so it's perfect for a natural look. Because I want my face to remain soft and not harsh. I'm only adding very, very little on my cheeks. And it's more just to blend in colors more naturally and more seamlessly, not to necessarily contour in any way. But what I will be sort of contouring is my nose. To bring back the definition to my nose, that's always lost when you apply concealer and foundation. So I'm using the same thing as always. This is Jane Iredell's contour kit in the color Deep. And as always, I only use the contour color. 
I go from the beginning of the brow bone straight down the sides to the very tip, making like a V. As long as you blend, you're all good. Curl my lashes. And apply my favorite mascara, which is the Honest Beauty mascara that comes with a primer. I apply the primer first and wait about 20 or 30 seconds before applying the actual mascara. And most of the time when I use this mascara, I don't feel the need to apply lashes. I have these very natural looking wispy lashes by Ardell just to add a little more, but I don't think I'm gonna apply it just to keep this even more natural. But by all means, apply the falsies because it'll only make it look better. I'm just lazy. And when I apply my mascara, I always blink into the wand to press in the mascara. I feel like it lengthens it more when I do that. Press it, blink, and wiggle up. I'm also gonna apply some on the very bottom lashes. Not too much, just a little. Looks good, right? Falsies aren't always necessary. On my lips, I'm gonna use my favorite lip liner ever. This is the Zooey Organic Lip Liner in the color Spice. I've been using this no lie for like six years straight. This is my go-to color. It blends in so well with my lips to give me that perfect nude, but not dead nude. It's like the perfect light brown nude. So I'm gonna use this to line the entire lip, not just the outline. And when lining the very top where like the cupid's bow is, I go over it a little bit. And this will give like a lifting effect to my top lip, making it look poutier. <laughs> see why this is my favorite. And although I love this lip color already, I could stop here, but we want that soft pink look. So I'm going to add this Henne Organics lip balm right on top. This is in the color Muse and it's more of a berry color, but combined with this, I know it'll be more pinkish into the tone that we want. And it's also a lip balm, so it's moisturizing. So it'll take away some of that dryness that the lip liner gives. See, that's the pink I want. For the soft pink cheeks, I'm gonna be using the Westman Atelier Baby Cheeks Blush Stick. This is in the color Petals, and I have been obsessed with this stuff lately. It's one of those sticks that has a magnetic top. And if you know me, you know I love cream blushes. And I prefer cream blushes because it sinks into the skin so much better, giving the skin a natural dewiness and a more natural looking flush of color like you're actually blushing. So I just pop it on my cheeks. I'm gonna use a small complexion brush and just focus this by tapping it in first. I'm also taking some of that on the tip of my nose and blending it in. And if you wanna blend the edges of that focus area even more, just work the brush on the back of your hand to remove some of that product. And then go back in only around the edges to blend it even more so that there's no harsh lines of the blush on your face. I am loving that. And the last thing I'm gonna do is take some of this Living Luminizer Powder from RMS Beauty and pop it right in the tip of my nose to complete the definition and a little bit on the bridge as well. And I'm just gonna use my fingers. Oftentimes I feel like my fingers focus the product right where I want it better than a brush. So don't be afraid of using your fingers. I'm not gonna highlight my cheeks. I think that the blush does a very good job at keeping that glow natural. And with that, the look is complete, guys. I'm satisfied with this. I think it looks great. I love the way my skin looks. I love that it makes the green in my hazel eyes pop even more. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me apply makeup with effort that I haven't put in a very long time. Hope you appreciate it, hope you enjoyed it. And as always, check the links down below. Everything I featured in this video, everything I mentioned will be listed right down there as always, including where you can find me outside of YouTube. So you can keep up with me on Instagram, which is where you'll find me the most. I love you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye sunshines.